Now, rescue cru crews are on standby at Austin Bergstrom Airport. Texas Task Force 1 plans to step in as soon as flash flooding strikes. KXAN Sophia Beausoleil shows us their plan to help people in trouble. It's a waiting game, continuing to check the weather uh, often. With more rain in the picture. The rescue swimmer's bag and equipment, his helmet's back here. The Texas Army National Guard and Texas Task Force 1 are ready to go. Our rescue swimmer would attach right here, the locking device. During state emergencies, the National Guard supplies helicopters and pilots like Robert Meishan to team up with rescue swimmers from the Texas Task Force 1. First rescue comes on the hook, they'll winch him outside, they'll drop him down, he'll pick up a victim. Normally, Scott Bartell is an Austin firefighter and performs swift water rescues, but he's also with the task force. And just like the pilots and other personnel, he's gearing up for possible flooding. It's not that you want an opportunity, because when we go out, somebody's having a bad day. Um, but that's what we're training for. Moments like this. This is video of a water rescue in North Texas. The National Guard and Texas Task Force One saved five people, including a five-month-old girl from a home on Monday. Yes, we've had rain for the last four or five days. Everything's saturated. It only takes a little bit, an inch or two in the right place, and we have flooding. Which is why these crews are on standby. Now, the Texas Task Force One is the most deployed urban search and rescue team in the country. Since its first deployment in 1998, the group has deployed to at least one major disaster every year. The task force is made up of more than 500 people, including three 70 person search and rescue teams. It also has 300 people who specialize in water rescues, and it's coordinated by FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency. As always, guys, uh, there's going to be a lot happening between now and the morning. You want to go to our website, kxan.com, to see what's happening, and of course, right here on KXAN News. We will be covering it. <laughs> Sophia, thanks. Well, star flight crews are also closely monitoring our weather and may help with rescue missions. The emergency unit provides specialized response services like high angle rescues, but the crews haven't responded to any rescue missions since nurse Kristen McLean died. She was helping a woman in the Barton Creek Greenbelt earlier this month. Today, a spokesperson told us they have not resumed rescue missions at this point, but they are not ruling them out. It depends on the number of factors involved in the risk to the public.